But before we go to that uh, press conference, and we will get you there as soon as it begins, we're going to head out to ABC 4's Cade Gardner. He's live on the scene for us tonight. Yes, Cade, what have you learned so far? Yeah, like you were saying, there's still not a lot we know at this time. I have gathered that the incident took place at Washington Park Apartments. You can see the sign right behind me. This is just south of Ogden Weber Technical College, and it's in a really busy area of town. This is just off Washington Boulevard, hence the name of the apartments, near the Five Points intersection. Again, we don't know a lot, but we've gathered that this happened sometime before 4 o'clock. There were a ton of police cars out here on Washington Boulevard earlier today. Most of them have now left. They've opened the street back up to traffic, but they're still a lot of police cars and police officers up in the apartment complex right now. I can see them through the trees. And just a few minutes ago, the Weber County uh, CSI unit came through. And that press conference is getting ready to start. We're going to take it live, so I'm going to toss it back to you at the station. PM in response to a protective order violation in progress at uh, 170 North Washington Boulevard here in Ogden. Um, upon arrival, an officer, one of our officers encountered a male suspect who was armed with a gun. Uh, an exchange of gunfire ensued between the officer and the suspect. Due to the seriousness of the situation, additional officers quickly responded to the scene. Uh, during the course of the investigation, multiple rounds uh, were fired between officers and the suspect. Unfortunately, one of our officers was struck by gunfire. Unfortunately, <clears throat> Our injured officer was immediately transported to a local hospital where they are currently receiving treatment. I am relieved to let you know that the officer is in stable condition, um, but continuing to receive treatment. Um, the suspect at the scene was shot and succumbed to the injuries at the scene. Uh, it is important to note that this situation was highly chaotic and rapidly evolving, leading to the involvement of multiple officers discharging firearms during the incident. The scene was secured, um, locked down following the incident. And given the gravity of the incident, we have requested the assistance of the Weber Morgan Critical Incident Task Force to conduct a thorough investigation. Uh, we are committed to ensuring comprehensive, unbiased, and transparent investigation. It is important to gather all the facts before we make any further statements or draw conclusions. At this time, we have very limited additional information as the investigation is ongoing. Additionally, on behalf of myself and Chief Eric Young, who is traveling right now, we want to recognize the immense bravery displayed by all officers who responded to this incident. Um, they faced, uh, recognize the officer for bravery displaying the bravery they displayed. They faced significant danger and acted swiftly and decisively to protect the public. Their actions demonstrated professionalism and courage that our officers exhibit every day. As per our department's protocol, it, all officers directly involved in the incident will be placed on administrative leave pending a comprehensive investigation. This is standard procedure designed to ensure the integrity of the investigation process and provide officers with the necessary support. Um, we understand that incidents like these can be unsettling for our community and we are committed to maintaining open lines of communication throughout the investigation. We will provide updates as new information is available while responding or while we also respect the integrity of the on, ongoing investigation. In closing, our thoughts remain with the injured officer and their family. We appreciate the support of the community and, and uh, understand the challenging time that that can create in, in our community. The Ogden City Police Department remains dedicated to upholding uh, the highest standards of professionalism and accountability and transparency. Again, at this time, this is an ongoing investigation and I am unable to answer additional questions at this time. We will release additional information and likely have an additional press conference once we actually get the facts of how this all played out. So thank you, appreciate your guys' time. All thank right, you. so that was Deputy Chief Jake Subic giving us an update on what happened out here today. All right, a lot to unravel there. Police not taking any uh, questions, but a police incident in Ogden, a pretty large police response from mm -hmm. what it sounds like. The bottom line here, as we continue to learn more information is one, an officer was shot, taken to the hospital now in stable condition. The suspect 
was fired upon many times from what we heard from police there and died on the scene. Yes, and this, of course, an ongoing investigation. Other agencies involved to make sure that it is a transparent, unbiased investigation. We'll, of course, keep you updated here on ABC4 News on Air and online at ABC4.com.